morning and welcome to our brand new sunrise stretch daily stretch sessions so every day at 7 30 i will be here with my relaxation music and i'll be guiding you through a 30 minute stretch where you can relax unwind or the other way around prepare for the day by energizing your body so we've got a couple of minutes before we're going to start uh, it is a seated stretch now i am just sitting on a ball just so i've got lots of mobility to show you different things uh, but any sort of seat uh, is completely fine you can sit on your bed you can sit on a chair you can sit on a sofa so whatever suits you uh, but as i said it is a seated stretch if you feel like you want to be more energetic then you can stand and do it and really go uh, as much as you like but it's completely up to you uh, Sally's here don't worry you're not late Sally we're not started yet we start at 7 30 every morning you'll find me here bouncing on my ball <laughs> if you've never used one of these as your desk chair I promise me I promise you you'll love it just get yourself one of these gym balls, sit and watch your favourite TV show or read a book or do whatever you need to do. You'll find yourself bouncing away. And the best thing about it is you're using your core so you don't fall off it. Okay, so let's get into uh, our state. So what we want to do uh, is to have your feet flat on the floor, relax your shoulders, Think about strengthening your spine, lengthening your spine. So back nice and straight. You've got that natural curvature in the middle of your back. Your head in line with the spine. Uh, try not to bring it forwards like this, your head. But try and straighten the, stop, the top of your spine. Slow down your breathing. And we will begin. So first of all, take your ear towards the shoulder. Feel that stretch on the side of the neck. If you want to increase the stretch, place the hand on top of the head. And just feel that lovely stretch. Now, as always, when I'm live, feel free to ask any questions. This is what a good workout is all about. Having a little chat whilst we are improving our body. Take the other ear to the other shoulder. And again, if you want to increase the stretch, place the hand on the head. Just feel that stretch. For those of you wondering where this amazing modern apartment that I was in before, we did a house tour video yesterday to explain why we've moved and where we've moved to. Okay, slowly release. Now this time we're going to twist the head, so keep your shoulders forward and just look behind you. So turn that head. If you want to increase the stretch, just push the chin. Let's go the other way again, twist and turn, push the chin if you want to.
back to the center. Now drop the chin down towards the chest. Now try not to collapse the back. So keep the back nice and strong and straight whilst you're just relaxing that chin down. If you want to increase the stretch, you can place the hand on the back of the head and just gently press forwards, don't force it. And now slowly release. Have a little twist, have a little wiggle. Relax those shoulders, wiggle those shoulders. Now we're going to roll the shoulders up and out. So just circle round, think about your range of movement. Just trying to increase as much as you can. Up and over. Now the other way, circle round. It's normal to hear some clicking at this point. Now hold at the top as high as you can and drop. Exactly the same. Lift your shoulders as high as you can and drop. One more time. Lift up. shake around. Okay, we're going to open through the back now. So bring your elbows nice and wide. Imagine you're giving me a big hug. So your elbows are nice and wide. You're pulling your shoulder blades apart. Trying to emphasize on bringing your elbows wider. Really feel that lovely release through your back. Now we're going to move on to the chest, taking your hands behind, and this time we are squeezing the shoulder blades together, opening through your chest. You'll also feel this into the shoulders. through the back all I want you to do is to fall forwards as far as you can so you're just reaching down without doing a forward roll just go as low as you can and relax slowly slowly coming up bear in mind that you may get a little bit of a head rush as all that blood goes to your head so just take it easy and now we're going to reverse the stretch we're going to stretch through your abdominals so reach up and back so look up and back stretching through those abdominals slowly release it down. Okay, now we're going to 
to release through the back with a twist. I want you to place one hand on your opposite knee, hand behind you, or as far back as you can, and just twist your body round. Turn your shoulders, turn your head, but keep your hips facing forwards. Now use that hand on the knee to help you twist and turn. So the other knee, the other hand on the other knee, hand as far back as you can, twist your shoulders, twist your head. placing the hand on the side of my ball. If you've got a surface or if you've got an armchair or something to hold on to, just hold on to something. And you're gonna take your other arm up, nice and high. And then if you want to, you can also go over. But it's all about going up rather than over. So don't collapse down. Think about high and then opening through your rib cage. Exactly the same, get some stability, hold on, and then take the other arm up as high as you can, and then reach over. shaking out those arms. If you're on a ball like me, have a little bounce. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stretch through the arms now. Uh, we'll start with the shoulder. So bring the arm across and you're just pulling that arm around as much as you can. Feeling that lovely stretch through the shoulder. sunny and warm outside but this new house we're in is freezing <laughs> so this is why I'm wearing a full-on tracksuit this morning and not even a thin one a very thick tracksuit <laughs> changing sides but this house is going to be a godsend when it hits 40 degrees in the summer
So we change side. And again, think about that twist from the shoulder, arm nice and straight, and then you're pulling in with the other arm. Let's do the biceps now. So straighten your arm. And what we're gonna do is just pull the fingers back ever so slightly. So you're feeling this stretch in the bicep muscle. so slightly. Sam is saying, I put the heater on for half an hour. <laughs> Bloody woke me up. She was cold. Oh. Bloody is Sally's cat, by the way, everyone. I think it was a cold night last night everywhere. My mum was telling me how sunny it was yesterday in the UK. Okay, let's do tricep. So reach up and then take it back. Now, if you can feel this stretch here already, stay there. If you want to increase this stretch, you can push. You can reach behind and pull. And if you really want to show off your flexibility, you can take the arm round and under, lock your fingers together, and really get a big, strong stretch through your tricep. I should just turn around and show you what it looks like from the back. I think you saw it. <laughs> I'm trying not to show you my bottom as I turn around. <laughs> and slowly release. Right, let's try the other arm. Exactly the same, reach up, reach behind. You can hold it there, you can push, you can pull, or again, you can reach round, lock the fingers together. I'm a little bit tighter on this side. Again, do remember about stretching. If you do find you are tighter on one side than the other, the whole idea is bringing your body back in balance. My glasses have fallen out of place. So if you are tighter on one side, do more time on the tight side. Because I'm assuming we're all perfectly balanced, I'm obviously going to do the same time on all our bits. Okay, slowly release. Move your glasses back into place and just shake out those shoulders, releasing off. Okay, so we're now going to do a little bit of leg work. I'm just going to go back a little bit so you can see more of me. So just straighten your leg. So one leg straight, one leg bent. And then from your hips, tilt forwards. So you're just tilting forwards. And you should feel a stretch on the back of your leg. If you can't, you might need to move forwards on your chair or whatever you're sitting on, just so you've got more give in that leg. And to increase the stretch, just reach towards the toe. And again, if you're super flexible, you can go all the way down, you can touch your toes, you can lie on your thigh. It's completely up to you how low you go. But 
but just remember it's all about that tilt from the hip rather than going as low as possible. So keep that leg straight, tilt from the hip, and this is where you're going to get the stretch through the hamstring. Slowly release, changing sides, exactly the same. Make sure you've got some give here so you can straighten your leg and then you can either reach, tilt from the hips, just go down as low as you can. So this stretch session is part of our new daily routine. If you need help with your daily routine, you can join me at 6.30 doing the morning magic. 7.30 to stretch or 9.30 for the workout which today is strength training which is not as difficult as it sounds <laughs> all these workouts are available on catch up so if you can't join us live you can do them afterwards Go a little bit further. Okay, now let's do both legs at the same time this time. <coughs> so take your legs a little bit wider. Again, you may need to come forward slightly on your chair and just do both legs. Again, tilt from the hips but then go as low down as you can. I can't quite read that comment. I'll bend my knees a little bit. You don't lean, bend your knees. Oh, it's the lovely Liz. Thank you. <laughs> yes, after a rubbish night's sleep, a little bit of stretching to awaken your body is definitely what you need. the floor if you want to lie forwards you can but just remember the emphasis is on the hamstring and the inner thigh stretch so really open out and then bend those knees and slowly come up now we're going to do a hamstring stretch now this one is tricky seated but I'll just show you so if you can get in this position what you want to do is put one knee towards the floor and push your hips forward so you're feeling a stretch through the hip flexor and the quad so you can either stay in this position I'm also going to show you a standing position to do this one so the standing position is where you hold on to something and just bring your heel towards your bottom. So that's just the one stretch that I'm going to show you standing, just because a lot of people find it really difficult to get into this seated position. But this is all we're doing, stretching through the quad. If you're wondering what the hell he's drinking, this is why greens drink. For those of you who don't like fruit and veg, or have a very acidic body, this will make your body alkaline. For those of you who don't know about acid, acid, acidic and alkaline, cancer can only grow in acidic bodies. So if you know anybody with cancer, they need to be drinking this, guys. Make their body alkaline. Changing legs. Just being alkaline helps with weight loss, general health as well. So there's lots of benefits. A 
especially if you don't like fruit and veg, then you need to be having one of these every day. <laughs> one of my slimmers that's doing the 30 day plan, she said, uh, I just can't get my husband to have fruit and veg. I said to her, as long as he's having one of these every day, it doesn't really matter, give up the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Stop arguing about fruit and veg. Slowly release. Come into a seated position. We're going to finish off by doing a little bit of mobilization. I'll come a little bit closer. So, again, hold on to your whatever you're sitting on, and I just want you to circle your foot. So, imagine you've got a pencil in your toes and you're circling drawing a circle. So nice and slowly. <laughs> if you're sat on a ball like me, this is definitely an, an abdominal challenge. Now circle the other way. If you're sitting on a bed, you might want to lie on your bed and do this one. This is really nice. And now from here we're going to point and flex. Point and flex. Change in size. Oh, did you hear that? So get your feet cracking. Get your ankles cracking. Again, imagine you've got that pencil. Draw the circles. And take it the other way. Think about your range of motion. As big as you can. And again, point. And flex. Point. You see, you can tell them in Africa because I've got my flip-flops with my tracksuit. <laughs> you don't really get that in the UK, do you? It's not quite cold enough. It's not quite warm enough to wear flip-flops with your tracksuit. And relax. Okay, we're gonna do a similar thing with our arms. So one arm out, just circle that round. Go as slow as possible, clearing all those clicks. The way. I like to call this the royal wave. Talking of royal waves, Aisha, who was here last week, Camilla visited her workplace the week before she came out, so she gave me some insights. It sounds like she's actually a really nice person, Camilla. I don't know if you've actually met her or anyone. I've only met, well, I did actually meet Camilla when I met Charles. Change in size. We're going the other way. Just circle that round. Slow it down. And just make it as big as possible. If you can hear that clicking, that's good. That's those calcium buildups releasing the other way. Okay, now we're going to hold the fingers towards the top. 
we're going to pull the fingers slightly back. Do this on the other side. Right, the last couple of minutes, guys, we're going to finish off by doing some big deep breaths. So, what I'd like you to do, think about that strong position like we did at the beginning. So, back nice and straight, shoulders relaxed, breathe in through your nose. Breathe in, two, three, four. Hold, breathe out, two, three, four, relax, breathe in, two, three, four, hold, breathe out, two, three, four, relax, keep on going. your eyes you can. Just keep that going in and out through your nose. Just try to slow that breath down even further. So go into counts of six. Eight or ten. Really slow that breath down, which slows our heart rate down. Keep on going while I read the comments. Liz is asking me about my tracksuit. Shaking off, guys. This is an Adidas basketball tracksuit from adidas.com uh, they don't do it in pink or else I'll have one right thank you for joining me guys my name has been Jody Bunting this has been a daily stretch as I said I'll be here every day doing this exact same thing a seated stretch and then I'll also be here at 6 30 doing the morning magic uh, and most importantly every day at 9 30 we have our new daily workout so join me at 9 30 where this morning we're doing strength training which is just some body weight exercises i'll see you at 9 30 bye for now